What's up, you guys? My name is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Aries, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for sign of Aries. This covers today if you have Aries in any aspects of your charts. The moon rising, Venus, or the behavior of your charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading for sign of Aries. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 13,320 subscribers. So thanks so much for all the love and support. If you like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate, Aries. Um, personal readings are currently open right now, but they'll only be open until tomorrow at noon. You don't pay until we agree via text that I'm going to do the reading for you because there's been times I have refused readings if your energy's off and that's just the truth for real for real. Okay? So um just to let you know, okay? Um because I, I ain't gonna do the reading if your energy's off. And that's just the truth. Okay? Um, so yeah, so this is for Sana Aries. It's for us and if you have Aries in any aspects of your chart, sun moon rising, Venus, Ortho, um uh, Venus, Medhaven, just saying. Um, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages to resonate. Leave rest. I did receive one channeling as I was meditating on your energy, Aries. And I heard, um, this shit ain't funny no more. That's, that's exactly what I heard. This shit ain't funny no more. So, I don't know. You plug it in how it resonates, Aries. Sounds like somebody got involved with some crap they shouldn't got involved in to begin with. Now it's not funny. Well, maybe they shouldn't have got involved with it to begin with. I don't know if this is you or somebody you're connected to, but you take it how it resonates because energy is to be reversed. I mean, hell, if it ain't funny no more, maybe they should have thought about not getting involved with it to begin with. That's the logical same thing. Just saying, just saying, but, you know, hey. That's just my take on this. Um, but I'm just me. Okay. Spirit messages you have for time. Rabbit, Beaver, Healer of the Ages. Number 51 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 51, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number 51. A pregnancy is very significant in Aries' life. Pregnancy is very significant in Aries' life. So, pregnancy is significant in your life. If that resonates for you, Aries. So that could be you impregnated, or you have, you have impregnated somebody else, or you are connected to somebody that is currently impregnated and just dated with child. How that resonates there, Aries. It's sure as hell not me. So it's somebody in the universe. You plug it in, how it resonates. Spirit, spirit messages you have some Aries. We got volcano. For some of you dealing with the uh, earth signs, because you have rabbit and beaver. If you are, they can have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. And there's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Manhaven, and Jupiter charts, if that resonates and applies for you, Aries. Spirit messages you have for Sana Aries. So, something's not funny anymore? Well, the thing, thing is, is, if it's not funny anymore, it should have been funny to begin with, whatever the hell it is. I mean, I don't know. You have to plug in your own particular life situation how it resonates. But the thing is, if it's just not funny anymore, deductive logic and reasoning would state that it probably wasn't funny to begin with, that somebody made it funny, and it shouldn't have been. Just saying, just saying. Spirit messages you have some Aries. October. By the way, if everybody could think of me, I have a child custody battle on July 15th of 2022, just to let everybody know. 
I've been putting it in all the videos, and I will up until the 15th. I have a child custody battle with my ex-husband on July 15th of 2022. Um, it's not my first rodeo with him. It's actually more like number, I think it's at least five. It might be more like six or seven. I'm an old 38-year-old woman, so he's taken me to court many times. Uh, the first couple times, it was child support adjustments when I became a nurse. Uh, started working in 2014 at first nursing home in here in, Hunt, here in Huntsville. He took me immediately for child support adjustment back when his wife was not a nurse at the time. Um, I don't even think she was in nursing school at the time. Um, which, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. But then, he's, but since then, he's taken me back several more times. Accusing me of child, child abuse and all kinds of crazy crap. Um, the last one was accused of child abuse. This one was the same, ac uh, well, not the same accusations, but similar as accusations. So, if everybody could just keep me in your thoughts and prayers, I very much appreciate it. I'll give you an example while I'm still shuffling out. Uh, a couple, uh, I'm sorry, not the last time we went to court when he accused me of child abuse, but the one before. Um, back when I had a boyfriend about six years ago and I worked at Encompass Health in, um, Huntsville. Oh, well, no, that was before I worked at Encompass Health. Back when I was dating that guy, that was before I worked at Encompass. Um, um, I was dating that guy before I moved to the city because I've been in the city five years. Uh, first time home buyer with this house. Um, but I lived in a rental home and the country about six years ago. When I was dating that guy, but he lived 45 minutes from me in Madison. Um, my ex-husband manipulated my daughter. She was about 10 at the time. He magically bought her a device at that time. But he manipulated her to take photos of my, uh, my boyfriend at the time's um, clothes in a drawer that I put in a drawer for him because he lived 45 minutes away so he could take a shower and things like that when he was there because it was such a long drive. Spirit message is she has home. Um, and, um, and pictures of like toothpaste and razors and things like that as evidence so he could use it in the court of law that this man was living with me because he kept saying, that's not in the papers. The papers state that you can't have anybody that lives with you um, um, in the papers, you have to follow by the papers and blazy, 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 blazy. So he was trying to prove it with evidence, but he manipulated my daughter to do so with the photos. And he also used, I think it was a Google Duo. It was some um, device, some um, streaming device. I think it was Google Duo. And had her walking around my home, my home, with a, um, the freaking camera on. I, I, I told her, nay, 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 I'm not okay with that, as anyone should not be okay with that, with their ex-husband just lurking in. I mean, it's really creepy and really weird, and that's just the truth. So, just to, that's just a little synopsis of what I've had to deal with with this man. So, if everybody could just keep me in your thoughts and prayers and well wishes, I very much appreciate it, because he's not correct. He's just not correct, and that's just the truth. Anybody that manipulates a child to do that is not correct. And that's the truth. So, if you might, you know, you might want to hear my story out of, you know, just saying. Keep me in your thoughts and well wishes and all that. I very much appreciate it. Okay. So, we have Volcano, Healer of the Ages, October, Scales, Cup. Scales, keep your life in balance. Cup, you should accept valid criticism. Healer of the Ages, Volcano, Rabbit, Beaver. Um, somebody's pregnant, whether it's you or you couldn't pregnant somebody or somebody you're connected to. Something's not funny anymore. Uh, it sounds like it shouldn't have been funny to begin with, but you plug it in, how it resonates. Rabbit. An Aries is a very, 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 high, very high position, high authority, high vibrational now is about to make a very, 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 very important phone call to someone very, 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 very important in a different city, in a different city. Quickly. About to help a very abused family of the past out in a huge way. This has gotten way out of hand. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, uh, 
whoever you are, sir, ma'am, I heard you're very high vibrational now. You're very, very, very high position, high authority, Aries. I think you might be the healer of the ages here. Um, you apparently live in a different city from whoever you're about to contact. Uh, I heard it's a phone call. You're about to make a very quick phone call uh, to um, someone else in a different city than you. Um, and they're a very, very, very high position high authority too. Now, you have to plug in the very, 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 very high position high authority. How that resonates applies for you, sir, ma'am. There's a million very, 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 very high position high authorities. Um, I think it might be manager, boss, supervisor, CEO, politician, business owner, what have you, what have you. I'm not sure. Only you know, not anybody else. Um, I heard to help out an abused family of the past. Um, the information you're about to provide this person is about to be life altering to this situation and it's about to cause quick movement to many people know this the information you're about to provide to this person in not your city in a different city you're about to make the phone call to very 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 high position authority high vibrational now aries heard it's about to be life altering and it's going to um it's going to change things it sounds like it's going to be power play moving energy um in this situation, I guess, with the abused family of the past. Um, it's going to be life-altering. It's about to affect many people's lives in many ways. Some in a positive way, some in a negative way. It's about to be very, very, very life-altering. It's going to affect many people's lives in many ways. Some in a positive way, some in a negative way. So, volcano energy, I think you're about to cause tower moments, sir, ma'am. I don't know if you're a man or a woman. I think you're about to cause tower moments. But positive tower moments for I'm um, hopefully the abused family of the past, and negative tower moments hopefully for the people that abused them in the past. Um, but I don't know. It all depends on what information that you're going to provide and what the actions are of the person in the other city and people in the other city are going to take. So you have to play in your own life how it resonates. Okay, volcano. But you are a very, very, very high position of authority. If that resonates, the message applies for you, sir, ma'am. And whoever you're contacting in the other city is a very, 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 very high position of authority, too. Okay? Um, but it sounds like um, you're positively connected to this family. Very positively connected to this family. About to help out in huge ways. Has huge regret of the past. Very, 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 okay, so you're very, very, very positively connected to this family, and I heard you have huge regret in the past, and you're about to help out in a huge way, but you do not live in the same city, I think, as this abused family or this person you're about to call and contact, is what I'm presuming there, Aries. You plug it in, how it resonates, sir, ma'am. Rabbit. A pregnant Aries, um, not pregnant by their current partner, is about to really regret ever becoming pregnant by this person. They thought there was going to be a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money coming in for this child, but they're about to realize very quickly that's not going to be the case. In fact, it's about to be opposite in a huge way very quickly. There's about to be a lot of debt here very soon and very quickly. Oh, Lord. You plug it in, how it resonates. So, one of you guys is pregnant. I'll tell you that right now. One of you, you're pregnant. Like, one of you, one of you Fem Aries, you're pregnant. Um, and I'm just being for real. Um, now, the other message, you could have been a male. You could be a male Aries that's impregnated somebody, or you can know somebody's pregnant. But definitely there is a femme Aries pregnant, for real, for real. I mean, just seriously. One of you guys is pregnant, femme Aries. But it's not by your partner, if that resonates for you, femme Aries. It, whoever you are, you have a partner. I don't know if it's a live-in, if it's a boyfriend, girlfriend, um, a fiancé, or a um, married spouse. But you, um, but you have a partner. But whoever you're pregnant by is not your partner, uh, ma'am. Just saying. But I heard you, um, you thought there was going to be a, a crap ton of money. You, somehow you thought you were going to get a lot of money for this um, child. But um, being pregnant for this child or to have this child or maybe it was child support. Maybe, maybe, oh, here's what I think. I think the person that impregnated you, I think they have a lot of money or you thought they did. 
So you thought you were going to get a crap ton of child support. This is exactly what I think. Yeah. But you're about to realize it's about to be opposite. I heard there's about to be huge debt there. So I don't know if this person is a gambler or, um, or just bad with money. It sounds like they were bringing in the G's and bringing in the G's and bringing in the G's. Or maybe they're a, a, a criminal. I don't know. Um, only you know this person, not anybody else, Tim Aries. But somehow they were bringing in the G's either legally or illegally in the past. But now they're not. Now they're not. Soon and quickly, I heard you're about to realize it's actually going to be opposite and there's huge debt there. So I think they either lied to you and told you, oh, yeah, I make five mil a year. Oh, yeah, I make um, 500,000 a year or what have you, what have you. But in reality, they didn't. Or they really did make a lot, a lot of money and they freaking lost it all in a bad investment or bad gambling, what have you, what have you, or something of that nature. How that resonates, okay? But you thought being pregnant by this person was going to bring you a lot of wealth. But it's actually about to be opposite. It is going to be severely opposite. You'll probably have to end up getting on government benefits. Government benefits? Welfare. Welfare is what I heard. My God. Well, that's that's not government. Well, that's state benefits, I thought. I thought welfare is state benefits. I don't know. I've never been on welfare. Um, but I thought welfare was state benefits. But I don't know. You plug it in how it resonates. I heard government benefits. Um, that could be food stamps. It could be food stamps or HUD. HUD housing. Government benefits. Um, or WIC or something of that nature. But um, how that resonates? There, Aries. Um, I don't think you make a lot of money. I'll tell you that. I don't think you make a lot of money. Um, and I think you were happy about this pregnancy because you thought the person that you got pregnant by or is impregnated by makes a lot of money or did, but you're about to realize it's about to be complete opposite. So you plug it in how it resonates, ma'am. How that resonates, okay? Beaver. And our son is about to give an airy shocking news. Shocking news. For some, it's going to be positive. For some, it's going to be negative. Okay, I heard our son is about to give an airy shocking news. For some, it's going to be positive, And for some, it's going to be negative. So you plug it in how it resonates, Aries. Um, some kind of shocking news, whether it's positive or negative news. It can go either in your favor or not in your favor. As they say in the Hunger game, just saying, just saying. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates, Aries, um, some kind of shocking news, either good or bad, or is your earth sign energy, your beaver energy, um, by the way, also, I was going to say the rabbit energy is sexual energy, um, that's the pregnancy energy, um, ain't no fun when the rabbit's got the gun, ever heard that, just saying, just saying, doing it like rabbits, sexual energy, um, uh, pregnancy, just saying, just saying, okay, um, so beaver, um, Mr. Ursan, um, for some, for some reason, I feel they could be fluffy. I didn't hear they were, but I feel they could be fluffy because you got the fluffy beaver out. Um, just saying, just saying, I think your Ursan could be fluffy. Fluffy, fluffy, I'm not fat, I'm fluffy. Just saying, just saying. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but they're about to bring you some news. It's either good or bad news, so you plug it in how it resonates, Aries. Um. Illegal hidden cameras of the past is about to become a huge issue for an Aries. And an Aries is about to go to jail and they're about to be shot. 
Illegal hidden cameras of the past is about to become a huge issue for an Aries, and an Aries is about to go to jail soon, and they're about to be shot. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, I think it might be Earth sign that's going to come arrest you, or Earth sign that's about to come talk to you about illegal hidden cameras of the past, or what have you, what have you, Aries. I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else, but I will tell you at least one Aries is about to go to jail soon. And hopefully, if you are voyeuring people, or doing, um, or, or, implanting hidden cameras in people's homes for freaking pedophile pe pedophilia of children or adults i hope your ass never gets out and that's just the truth if anybody needs to hear that okay volcano A very significant argument between an Aquarius and a Scorpio. Both high-level Aquarius and Scorpios is about to change your life forever. Know this. A very significant conversation between a high-level Scorpio and a high-level Aquarius is about to change your life forever. Know this. That's what I heard. That's at least for one of you guys. So, some kind of significant conversation between a high-level Scorpio and a high-level Aquarius. Uh, however, they're high-level. I didn't hear specifically how they're high-level. I mean, you have to plug that in how it resonates. That's a, that's a broad spectrum there. So, some kind of high-level Scorpio and high-level Aquarius. But... The conversation they're about to have is about to significantly affect at least one of you guys' lives. Um, that's why I, uh, I don't, uh, uh, I just keep my damn self over here. I don't want nobody to control my ass, and that's just the truth. Hashtag live free. If anybody needs to hear that. That's why I'm getting the hell out of this damn city in a few months after I went custody back of my kids. And I'm just being for real. Anybody in my city needs to hear that. But some kind of um, conversation between a um, high-level Scorpio, I'm thinking like security clearance. There's a reason I heard high-level. So I think they might have a security clearance. There's a reason I heard high-level. I'm thinking maybe CIA or FBI or maybe Secret Service or maybe presidential-type energy. I didn't hear it was, but I feel it might be because I heard high-level. And I'm so that's why I say that. Um, it's a high level Scorpio and a high level, um, um, Aquarius. So you plug it in how it resonates Aries, but somehow it's going to life alteringly affect your life. You plug it in how it resonates. For some, I think it might go badly because we have the volcano. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. Money that was given to a hospital that shouldn't have been given a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of it. It's about to have to be returned every single penny. It's about to piss a lot of people off. But it never should have been given to this hospital. It went to the wrong situation. And it's about to have to be returned quickly. Okay. I heard uh, money that was a lot, basically a crap ton of money that was given to a hospital when it shouldn't have been given to a hospital. Um, I heard it's about to basically have to be returned soon and quickly. Um, I heard every single penny. Um, I heard it's going to piss a lot of people off, but I heard it shouldn't have ever went to the hospital to begin with. People in this hospital are about to have to uh, do a, have a lot of explaining to do, but th that's their problem. People in this hospital are about to have a lot of explaining to do, but that's their problem. So, somebody in this, the hospital got a, basically a ton of funding and they shouldn't have got it. It sounds like it went to a completely different, it should have went to a completely different situation, but it went to this hospital. Um, a Scorpio had a lot to do with this, low vibrational Scorpio, but their ass is about to be grass. A low vibrational Scorpio had a lot to do with this, but their ass is about to be grass is what I heard. So, low vibrational Scorpio had a lot to do with the basically the misappropriation of funds and the mismanagement of this money that shouldn't have went to the hospital when it 
it, it never should have went to the hospital to begin with is what what I'm hearing from this. It should have went to a completely different situation. Uh, I heard a low vibrational Scorpio had a lot to do with this, but their ass is about to be grass. So they're about to be reprimanded for this, for this or fine for this or something negative, very negative is about to happen to this low vibrational Scorpio. And that could be the volcano energy too. Um, they are about to ever regret getting involved in this. Anna Libra. They are about to ever regret getting involved in this. Anna Libra. An Aries is getting a huge wake-up call. Okay, I heard an Aries is getting a huge wake-up call. Okay, so a low vibrational Libra and a low vibrational Scorpio had a hand in basically misappropriation of funds of a crap ton of money to go to a hospital when it shouldn't have went to the hospital. It should have went to a completely different situation, but somehow it ended up at, it ended up at the hospital. And it never should have ended up at the hospital, but it sounds like a bunch of people from this hospital benefited from all this money. And they never should have because it never should have went to the hospital. Um, I heard a low vibrational Scorpio and a low vibrational Libra had a lot to do with this. But basically, the Libra is about to get it too. They These people are about to get it. The Libra is about to get it too. And the low vibrational Scorpio is about to get it. Both of them are about to get it. And Aries is getting such a huge wake up call. Two wake up calls for Aries. So you plug it in how it resonates. So... Basically, misappropriation of funds. But these people were, had a hand in misappropriating these funds out to this hospital when they shouldn't even went to the hospital to begin with. But it sounds like a bunch of people in this hospital benefited from all this money that was appropriate, that was misappropriated to this hospital that shouldn't even went to the hospital to begin with. I think you, very, very high vibrational now, Aries, you know this. And I think that's why you're about to make this phone call, is what I think, sir or ma'am. Somehow you're connected in this. Um, there's a lot of people and situations going on in here, so you have to plug yourself in how you fit. But anyway, so a low vibrational Scorpio and a low vibrational Libra had a hand in the misappropriation of funds. But basically, they're about to get their negative karma in a huge way, in a huge way, in a huge way. So they're about to get their negative karma in a huge way. The money's about to have to be returned. Plus interest, not playing around. Plus interest not playing around is what I just heard. Holy shit. So not only are the hospital going to have to return the money, but with interest, they're not playing around. Whoever is money this is. I mean, I'm not sure I didn't hear whose money it is. But I think you now have vibrational Aries. You know whose money it is, uh, sir, ma'am. And I think that's why you're about to make this very important phone call to somebody in a city not of yours, sir, ma'am. Wow, this is so interesting. You plug it in, how it resonates. Man. A very significant explosive argument between an Aries and another Aries behind the scenes family members or is about to be very, very, very significant. African-American family members for some, Hispanic family members for some, for some Caucasian family members. Okay. A very significant conversation between two Aries family members. So Aries to Aries energy, double Aries energy. Um, sounds like behind the scenes, behind closed doors, not with creepy, lurky, hidden cameras staring at you, uh, voyeur cameras staring at you. Uh, so in the privacy and confines of your own home, as it should be. Um, I heard it's about to be very significant. It's in a family unit and family situation. So these people are bloodline related in some shape, form, or fashion. And obviously they still connect with each other. Um, they haven't blocked each other or blocked their energy. They still connect with each other. Um. For some, it's Aries, uh, double Aries energy, so Aries to Aries energy. For some, it is um, African, two African-American Aries energies about to have this explosive volcano S type behind the scenes closed doors argument. For some, it's two Hispanic Aries, and these can be masculine or feminine. I didn't hear if they were masculine or feminine. Masculine or femme or masculine or femme, 
African American, masculine, femme, or masculine, femme, Hispanic, um, masculine, femme, or masculine, femme, Caucasian. We have three different ethnicities in there, so you have to plug yourself in how you resonate fit. But behind the scenes, closed doors, very explosive arguments about to come up in double Aries energy, family members, generational, I'm not sorry, not generational, um, bloodline connections here, and they still speak to each other, but they don't speak very nicely, or they don't like to speak very nicly. That's why I don't talk about toxic guys' family, and that's just damn true. Just saying. Explosive argument. Volcano. Boo! And a trip to Hawaii is about to become very significant in Aries' life. And a trip to Hawaii is about to become very significant in Aries' life. And a Pisces feminine that received an inheritance when she should not have received it. It was a Leo Fem's inheritance. Someone, an investigator, is on her ass. Through many series of chain of events, this Pisces Fem is about to get very negative legal communication. She will be charged. Many charges. It's not going to go well for this person. She's a huge fraud and a huge thief. One, you are her family member. You need to know this. Oh, my God. You plug it in how it resonates. So, Pisces Femme, energy strong. Uh, apparently, she stole a Leo Femme's inheritance of the past. Um, but, um, one, you are her family member. So, that I, that, I guess that's why I'm pulling this in here. One, you are this Pisces Femme's family member. So, only you know if you are, fit in the situation. If you have a fraud or thief or Pisces Femme family member that basically got away with fraud and theft. Of stealing somebody else's inheritance. Only you know if you're that family member or not, sir, ma'am. Okay? But um, one, one of you guys, you are the family member of this pipe. Another Aries is getting such a huge wake-up call. Such a huge wake-up call. Okay, I heard no, another Aries. We've got three wake-up calls from Aries in here. You guys are getting huge wake-up calls. Some of you guys. You have to plug yourself in where you fit, Aries. Are you getting the huge wake-up calls? Are you the one family member connected to the fraud and thiever Pisces fam that apparently um, craps rainbows over there and everybody thinks she's the best thing since sliced cheese and gets to steal people's inheritances and gets a fraud and thieve and doesn't get put behind prison bars or at least not yet. I mean, I'm just saying, what's so special about this chick that she can fraud and thieve people? Nothing? Because her ass is about to get caught and that's just the truth. If anybody needs to hear that. Um, but you plug yourself in where you fit. So, anyways, it's a Pisces fem. She got Pisces in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, and behavior to Jupiter charts. But, anyway, she, um, I heard she stole Leo Fem's inheritance, um, in the past. It feels like she had no qualms about it, no empathy, no sympathy, no remorse. She's good with it. She's good that she stole. She has, she don't care because she, her ass ain't got called. But, family member of the Aries, just know there's an investigator on her ass. And, apparently, uh, they're about to start taking action or get people involved to take action. How does that resonate? Um, I heard she's about to get charges brought up against her soon. She is about to be shot. She is about to be shot. That's what I heard. She's about to be shot. So she's get, about to get charges. So not just one charge. Two or two plus charges brought against her. And she's going to be shot, Aries family member. Um, and I heard um, she's not going to get out of this. She's not going to get out of it. She thought she got away with it, but she didn't. She most certainly didn't, and it's going to go so, so, so public. She most certainly didn't, and it's going to go so, so, so public. So she thought she got away with the Aries family member, but she didn't. It's going to go so, so, so public. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Stolen inheritance, well, you shouldn't be stealing people's inheritance. And the crazy part is, is I'm sure this Pisces Femme knows who the hell this Leo Femme is. She has no empathy, sympathy, or remorse. And what if this Leo Femme has children? I didn't hear that she did, but what if she does? She's not only taking money from a, a, a person that should have the money, but possibly taking money out of kid or kid's mouths. How sad is that? If anybody needs to hear that. Someone that is not an Aries is getting a huge wake-up call. Someone that is not an Aries is getting a huge wake-up call. So, cross-watcher. Just saying. Um, one of you guys is cross watcher or about to be cross watching this video. Uh, I heard you're not an Aries and you're getting a huge wake up call. We got Aries all across the board getting huge wake up calls. Cross watchers getting wake up calls. You plug it in, how it resonates. I'm just, I'm just being for real. 
when you go to as far a greater lease to steal somebody's inheritance and you have no empathy, sympathy, or remorse for them, that's the biggest form of narcissism that one could do. And that's just the truth. If anybody needs to hear that. Healer of the, healer of the ages. An Aries that works in healthcare is about to get a huge wake up call. Huge wake up call. One sentinel event energy. One lawsuit energy, skilled nursing facility. You plug it in, how it resonates, Aries. Um, you work in healthcare in some shape, form, or fashion. It could be. A hospital, it could be skilled nursing, it could be a clinic, it can be any form of health, it could be outpatient. You plug it in how it resonates, but it's some kind of work in the um, healthcare, however that resonates and applies. But however that applies, um, you're one, you're about to learn of a Sentinel event. Um, I don't think you're involved in the Sentinel event, it's somebody you're connected to. Um, one, it is. Um, um, a uh, lawsuit coming in the school nursing facility. I was pulling that very heavy inside is too. That could be the volcano too. The sentinel events. Sentinel events are not anything to be messing around with. If you are not familiar with what a sentinel event is, please Google it or go to Gemini's reading because I read it read it out in Gemini's reading. It is not as a nurse. That's somebody's worst freaking. Well, it should be your worst nightmare. Some people don't damn care, and that's just the truth. But it should be your worst nightmare to be involved in a sentinel event type of thing and that's just the truth um but some people just don't damn care until they get legal paperwork with lawsuits or they get legal paperwork having to go in and testify of some shit that happened in a um um while they were working and 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 i'm just being for real somebody's about to be involved in sent old event and they're i don't think their ass is about to be woke up until they get the damn legal paperwork having to go into the damn court of law because somebody passed away or somebody got freaking psychologically damaged or neurologically damaged over some shit that happened. And that's just the truth. If anybody needs to hear that. Just saying, just saying. October. Someone's about to try to offer a Leo feminine reinstatement back in her current, her last current facility, hospital. However, she most certainly is not going to want to go back. Know this. One, you are a manager there. You need to know this. There is no way in hell this lady's going back. None at all. She will take reinstatement back in the company to transfer. Know this. Okay, so that's at least for one of you guys. You're one, you're a manager at a hospital. So you plug yourself in how you fit Aries, um, manager at a hospital. Um, you can have Aries in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midhaven, and Jupiter charts. I think you might have been the Leo Finn's boss, maybe in the past, possibly, or a boss at the hospital. Um, how that resonates. But um, I heard um, somebody, and I don't think it's you, manager at the hospital, Aries, because somebody else. Is about to contact this Leo Femme. It sounds like she was wrongfully terminated at this hospital, local hospital, um, to get try to get her to come back, to be reinstated back in the current local hospital. But I heard she is not going to do it. Um, she is going to basically refuse to come back to the local hospital, and she will um, she will request reinstatement to go transfer it back in the company to another hospital. She doesn't want to basically work in the local hospital. There's uh, there's no way in hell. No way in hell. That's double confirmation. No way in hell. So no way in hell times two. She don't want to work at the local hospital, manager Aries. So maybe you, I think you might be collaborating with somebody to get somebody to call her, to get her, um, see if she'll come back, basically. Um, but I heard there's no way in hell, double deuces. That lady does not want to come back to that hospital. And she shouldn't have to. That's her right. If she don't want to come back to that hospital. If anybody needs to hear that. Just saying, just saying. 
um, because there are things called sentinel events, and there are things called um, hidden cameras in residents' rooms and skilled nursing facilities that are about to cause huge negative towels in people's lives. Maybe that's why she don't want to come back, possibly. You ever thought about that? Just saying, just saying. October. A child is going to be born in October. A child is going to be born in October. And a pregnant teenager is very significant in Aries' life. And a pregnant teenager is very significant in, in Aries' life. So a child is going to be born in October. It might be the pregnant teenager that gives birth in October, possibly. Or um, maybe for some, you find out that teenager is pregnant in October you plug it in how it resonates but some kind of teen pregnancy energy in October so I feel for some the teenager might give birth in October or you might find out the teenager is pregnant in October or the teenager's birthday could be in October maybe they're Scorpio or they are a Libra or a Scorpio possibly um, teenager that's pregnant with this child um, you plug it in how it resonates how that resonates um, Aries And someone's going to get married secretly in October. Their life is about to start shifting very, very quickly, very soon. It's going to shock the hell out of you. They're going to be a, have a whole new life by October. Okay. And I heard someone's going to get married by October. It's going to shock the hell out of you. Um, they're going to have a whole new life by October. So their life is changing quickly. I mean, it's about to. So their life is about to completely start changing. It's not you. It's somebody you're connected to. Uh, but it sounds like universal shift energy. And it sounds like, in all fairness, it needs to happen or it should happen for them finally. It sounds like their life had been stagnant for a while. And it's time for it to start put, put, putting on. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. And that could be why somebody's trying to... I think that's really shitty. Somebody trying to get somebody to come back to a damn hospital they don't want to come back to. Um... That's somebody's right. They don't want to work somewhere. They don't feel safe with like patient safety and employee safety. Then absolutely not. As a nurse, there's no damn way I would go back to the freaking hospital I was just currently at. And that is just a daggum truth. Nor would I ever go back to the hospital that I quit back in 2018. And that's just the truth. Scales keep your life in balance. A Virgo is about to become very significant in a Aries life. And Aries became the boss. They're about to really regret it. A Virgo is about to become very significant in an Aries life. And an Aries just recently became the boss. And they're about to really regret it. So you plug it in how it resonates, Aries. I don't know, man. Somebody just got promoted. One of you guys just got promoted. Um, congrats if you want to be the boss, I guess. Um, to me, there's pros and cons of being a boss, and that's just the truth. Um, I'm sure you're probably getting paid damn good money, but is it really worth it? Is your is your mental health okay? Is your physical health okay? Um, you might be bringing in the G's, but are you healthy on the inside or the outside? If anybody needs to hear that. Just saying, just saying. Um, and you have the Keep Your Life in Balance card, and you should accept valid criticism. Um, I hope you didn't beat your way to the top, Aries, to become the boss, if anybody needs to hear that. I heard a Virgo is about to become very significant in your life, so you plug it in how it resonates.
And an Aries ex is about to start fighting them for custody of child for one, for one, two, two plus children. It's about to shock the hell out of you. You never thought it would happen. Okay, and an Aries ex, for some of you guys, it's one child. For some, it's two or two plus children. I heard they're about to start fighting you for custody. Some of one child, some are two, two or two plus children. You never thought it would happen. I think for some, you might get the legal paperwork in October, or you might hear something by October, because we have October. Um, for some, it's it's an ex. So it could be a legally married, or I'm sorry, an ex-spouse, or it could be a... Um, ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, ex-live-in, somebody you have, a baby mama, baby daddy, what have you, but it's somebody you had child or children with, I'll tell you that, and um, they're about to start fighting you for custody, some of one child, for some are two, two, two or two plus children, you plug it in how it resonates, Aries, Cub, you should accept valid criticism, evaluation is left some very significant in Aries' life, one, you work at a hospital. One, you work at Walmart. One, you work at a restaurant. One, you work at a dialysis. Okay. One, you work marketing. Marketing. So you plug it in. They do evaluations in marketing? I don't know. You plug it in how it resonates. So, um... Some kind of evaluation energy. There's a lot of different. Some I feel you could be evaluating somebody, or somebody's evaluating you. One, you just turned the ball, became the ball. So I don't know. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, criticism, i.e., evaluation. Whether you are criticizing or evaluating other people's performance in a uh, workspace situation, or somebody's evaluating or criticizing um, uh, work performance of you. You have to plug it in how it resonates there, um, Aries. I'm not sure. A funeral of a Capricorn is about to become very significant in Aries' life. And an Aries is about to find out this Capricorn left someone an inheritance soon. It's about to shock the hell out of them. It's one of their nemesis, another fire sign. Oh, well, why do you have a nemes nemesis, Aries? Why the hell do you have a nemes nemesis? Just being for real, for real. Um, live life, hashtag live free and live happy. Why should do people have nemesis? -es? I don't have any nemesis in my life. Say that five times fast. Even my ex-husband that's been dragging me to court date after court date after court date, court battle after court battle after court battle. Even he is not my worst enemy. I have no worst enemies because I live over here happy and to myself. And I don't have friends and I'm very happy I don't have friends because people betray people and there's things called frenemies. So I'm too damn old to be having frenzies. I just want to make a lot of money and travel and live life. And that's the damn truth. Um, if you might need to hear that. but. I'm serious. So, um, why somebody has a nemesis, I have no idea. Whoever that is, they're mentally immature. I'll tell you that. Because if you reach the point where you didn't have a nemesis in life, you're not mentally immature. Because you don't, wouldn't care what other people do. Because you would just keep yourself and make your own damn money and live your own life. And that's just the truth. Um, but an Aries has a nemesis. At least one does out there. Low vibrational Aries. And... Um, apparently, a uh, death of the Capricorn is about to become very significant in your life, Aries, and a funeral of this Capricorn, it sounds like. But I heard this Capricorn apparently left your nemesis inheritance, a fire sign, Aries Leo Sage, another fire sign, um, inheritance. And you're about to find out that, um, they did. And I heard, you are going to be so, so, so pissed. You thought you were going to get it. Oh, my God. I heard you're going to be so, so, so pissed you thought you were going to get it. Oh, my God. So, you thought you were going to get the inheritance, Aries. Uh, but it turns out it was, it's she, um, he or she, Capricorn, left it to a fire sign pimp. So, you plug it in how it resonates. All right, you guys. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped. And namaste.